Hi, this is David Yeager. Thanks for tuning in to our second Methods of Work video regarding ox horn or cow horn. We'll be talking this time about flattening and shaping the horn. In the previous video, we talked about the basics and cutting of this material. So looking at it last time, this was the uh, state that I receive much of my horn material. Uh, it's kind of yucky. It's kind of bloody and has flies and maggots and it's not pretty. Um, I use a sawzall to cut it and then dry it and deal with it. Uh, but please refer to the previous video for that discussion. Here also I will include um, sources for the finished material that uh, comes in a nicer form. So you can buy it, in other words, from a vendor. It'll be clean, it'll be nice and round, and you won't have to worry about the yicky stuff. So we saw last time that uh, you can take a horn and on the bandsaw, just cut it in half long ways. This particular piece on the left has the, the point cut off of it. And uh, by cutting it this way, we have yielded three pieces out of a half. So those are shown there on the right. Uh, I use a little template from the uh, knife that I'm going to build, the knife scale, uh, which is that blue piece uh, showing the basic cutout size. So of the one half horn uh, that was used, I ended up with three nice pieces that uh, can be used for knife scales. And using both pieces of horn, I uh, ended up with six pieces that will be used for scales. Now you can see that these are pretty curvy. They have a two-way curve on them. And so they wouldn't, it just wouldn't do to try to use those as they are. What we need to do is get those guys flat so they can fit down uh, nice and smoothly on a flat surface and, and be worked in that manner. Okay, so this is what we're going for. This is what our uh, end product is going to be. Uh, flattened pieces of horn that can be used, outlined and cut and applied for knife scales. So after doing a lot of research and messing around and doing a lot of uh, failure projects with this, I ended up finding that what needs to happen is the raw material needs to be cooked in a little oven and it needs to go at 300 degrees. Uh, 300 degrees at between 5 and 10 minutes will soften this style of horn so it can be manipulated and flattened. Now do not try this in the house in your wife's oven. This will be a bad thing for you. Um, do this outside in a junky little uh, 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 thrift shop type of buy that uh, will work and go up to 300 degrees. Um, you do want to get a thermometer to be sure that you're getting up to that level. If you look closely on the bottom layer here, we've got pieces of angle iron and that's really part of the scheme of flattening these guys out. So here's the angle iron that I'm using. It's about six or eight inches long. It's got about a two inch or maybe an inch and a half leg on it. So inch and a half by inch and a half, maybe an eighth of an inch thick. Uh, you'll need two of these for each scale you're going to be working on. Okay, so using gloves to take out the hot angle iron and the hot piece of horn out of the oven, you quickly put it into a spring clamp. Now, a spring clamp is it's a down and dirty kind of deal. It's not very strong, uh, but it will flatten things out okay. It, uh, it's not certainly as good as C-clamps. And what we'll do is apply C-clamps to it and pull that uh, temporary spring clamp off of there. And remember, you're working with hot stuff here. This is 300-degree uh, steel, um, which isn't very hot, but it's hot enough to burn you. All right, so we see that uh, the spring clamp's been removed and the two C-clamps are applied to the double pieces of angle iron, the hot angle iron, which is compressing that horn. Now, you'll need quite a few of these clamps, uh, and you can get them for three or four bucks a piece on special. They're just two-inch C-clamps, but they're much stronger than uh, the clip-on type of clamps used in the previous slide, and so do use them. So this is our six pieces of horn. 
um, sitting in the clamps ready to dry. Not dry, but uh, ready to cool down. Leave them to cool down for 24 hours or overnight if you're doing this uh, during the daytime. Uh, it's very important to let them cool fully, otherwise they won't be uh, hardened properly. And so this is the fruit of our labor. Uh, nice flat pieces of horn ready to uh, be used as our knife scales. Notice that there are different thicknesses like the one in the middle and the one in the middle right seems to be quite a bit thicker than the others. Uh, they have to be worked down to be of a uniform size. Uh, the stuff that I work with, I like to use it as 3 16 thick. And um, so that's going to actually be uh, covered in the next video, the finishing and mounting. So here we have one of our six pieces all ready to go. Uh, already with an outline on it and ready to be shaped and turned into a really nice piece. The color on this one is going to be interesting. You see the dark on the ends and the light color in the middle. Now when you're shaping it and doing the finish on it, you never really can tell how it's going to come out because those colors are laid down in layers, very thin layers. And sometimes you'll grind all the way through, for example, the dark on the left end and it'll be all white except for a, a little patch of black on the right. So you really never know in, until you get into it, until you uh, start shaping it for your final, final approach. And here we have a set of uh, scales that are ready to go. The ones on the right are obviously finished and drilled out and ready to be riveted into place. The ones on the left have to be outlined and shaped. Now, if you notice the ones in the upper left corner, they're quite rough and they have a lot of texture to them. This is uh, pretty rare in the horn that I come by, and uh, it's quite desirable for the use for knife scales. It has a lot of character, has a lot of texture to it, a lot of grip to it, and uh, it's really nice. It's hard to work with, but it's quite nice. In the last video, I promised to include a resources section, which I did not do, so I am certainly doing it this time. Uh, one of the best ones that I have found is Discovering Horn by Paula Hardwick. This is a hardback book, uh, which is out of print, but you can find it on eBay. It'll probably run 10 to 20 to $30, something like that. Um, from uh, booksellers. Uh, the rest are online resources which are pretty good and uh, the last ones, uh, the Powder Horns and more and the Crazy Cow Trading Post uh, are references to buy uh, finished horn uh, that you can uh, cut up and make into your own knife scales. Alright, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the next in the series on finishing and mounting and do check our website, BajaKnives.com, to see some of the examples of horn on knives that I've made. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.